this is Saturday night in New York City, then this must be the People's Voice We are, thank you for coming, we are here tonight after an 18 month hiatus. We did have, I believe, was it nine or ten online shows? But we are back in the flesh and we're going to get started right now. And before we start the program, Marilyn over here has uh, a little bit of sadness to share with us. I know we're all very happy to be back in person, and uh, but this year has taken a very large toll on everybody. Some people were sick, some people weren't sick, but everybody's been suffering in this last year and a half. And I just wanted to take this opportunity <clears throat> to read a list of the people that we lost from the PVC community in this last year and a half. Um, some of them were lost from COVID, some, it just was their time. Um, but, and I want to read this, this includes performers, volunteers, and regular audience members. And if I've left anybody out, I'm, I'm sorry, maybe you can shout out. We lost Lois Morton, George Fulganiti Shikar from the Bright Morning Star, Norris Bennett, Ann Feeney, Clara Diaz Singer, Don Friedman, Toby Faginson, John Pico, Jean Glickman, Alex Dopkin, Ann Green, Jay Bird, Isabel Goldstein, Bill Rothfog, Martin Swinger, and I just found out another person, Ula, and I don't remember her last name. Ula Barrett. Oh, Ula Barrett who was a regular audience member. We've all seen her in the wheelchair. Yeah. I just want to take another a moment to mention uh, people who were not part of our uh, PVC community, but very important in the music world. Uh, John Prine, Charlie Pride, Trini Lopez, and I'm not sure if anybody else, but if there's anybody else who, from our community that I've missed, if you just want to say the name. Silver. Yes. Oh, I can't believe I didn't put her name down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyway, now we're going to be happy. We are in a new space, and I thought that you would like to know about this space. I asked my good friend, who is a poet and a storyteller, Diana Yates, to write me a poem about the space that we're in. And so she says, the Judson Memorial Church and Hall have a very storied existence. Hear my short tale. September brings us the beginnings of fall. Hooray for the Judson Memorial Church and Hall. John Craig designed the hall built in 1877. But it wasn't until 1888 that prayers could be sent to heaven. Pastor Edward Judson wanted to honor his dad by choosing a spot to reach all patrons around. To expand his congregation, the lost and the found. Yes, that the place had its ups and downs, being bought and sold, which brought some frowns. But let's move ahead in the first renting situation. A medical dental clinic run by a woman doctor, one of the first in the nation. During the Depression, the church let homeless men sleep on the pew. Some folks were shocked at that piece of news. In the 50s and 60s, the church totted our civil rights. Preaching from the pulpit reached new heights. Past programs, police athletic league, HIV, and drug abusers, local artists, dancers, music concerts, no losers. So here we are today, so full of passion and love letting our efforts receive blessings from above. Hooray for the Judson Memorial Church Hall. I'm glad to see everybody here. Uh, we have a really diverse program. And before anything else, I want to thank people from Judson Memorial Church. Particularly uh, one of the church members, Martha Gottwalls, and also the events manager from Judson Memorial Church, Gene Travis. And literally, without their support and without their diligence, 
we wouldn't be here tonight and we might not be anywhere. The reason we're not at community church is not because we were evicted, we were not thrown out, we were, they actually really loved us and supported us. However, the community church of New York is undergoing or will be soon undergoing extensive renovations and there just wasn't a, a place for us while that happens. How long are we going to be here? Will we go back? Will we go somewhere else? We don't know. But we do know one thing. We are here for this season. And this is going to be a wonderful season indeed. I'm going to keep the introduction short. Uh, Pamela Jean Agalus is a wonderful singer. She was born in Chicago but grew up in the Philippines returned to the United States and settled in New York City and uh, is a wonderful, wonderful exponent of all types of vocal music, not just from where you might imagine it, uh, singing in English or Tagalog or perhaps Spanish, but also singing in Scots Gaelic and in Irish, among other things. I'm not sure what she's going to do tonight, uh, but she's probably going to surprise us, but whatever it is, you're going to love it right now. Let's hear it for Pamela. Got it on my mics. Good evening. I am Filipino, and I am singing my first song. I'm learning it, so I'm not going to sing the whole thing. It's a lament, and I dedicate it to the people that we lost. Um, I've also suffered some personal loss. It's, it's from Scotland. It's an air called Hector the Hero. And it's being played at a session that I, that I attend at 11th Street Bar. Tony DeMarco leads it. And he plays it every night along with his friend Isaac Alderson on Ellen Pipes. So, uh, let me calm myself. Lamenting the mountains of Russia, your tears be the dew and the rain. Ye forests and strats, let the sobbing winds unburden your grief and pain. Lament him, ye warm-hearted clansmen, and mourn for a kinsman so true. The pride of the highlands, the valiant MacDonald will never come back to you. to ride. 
is part of an Irish phrase. It's a Shnan scale. It is what it is. The end. I'm not done yet. I do have a second song. I sing it all the time, all over uh, sings in, the, in New York City. I've collaborated on it with uh, Brian Dolphin and Elizabeth Laprell. It's called Eileen Arun. There is a chorus, and uh, you can easily figure it out. So uh, let's just join in.
be here, and I'm thankful to be invited to help raise some money for People's Voice Cafe. So I hope that people are giving generously as much as we can. And uh, we've got some, we got a lot of work to do, right? <laughs> but I'm glad that there's music involved in the work because I think it makes the work a little easier and to understand and a little easier to do. So I have a couple songs for you tonight. They're, they're new songs, pandemic songs. I'm working on a collection of pandemic songs I'm calling The Mighty Sustenance for the Struggle. And hopefully it will give us some sustenance. Isn't this a cool mask? When I first saw it, I thought it was kind of arrogant, but then I saw it signed by history, which is kind of cool. What does it say? It says, um, don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> I think history is pretty frustrated with us right now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's not a straight line, right? Well, so this first song, uh, Steve and I were talking earlier. Um, we were both agreeing that uh, things have been crazy for the last few years, but truly, they've been crazy for a long time and uh, has been upside down. That's what this song is called. <laughs>
it's upside down. I'm a teacher and I teach at George Washington High School up in Washington Heights. Thank you. Thank you. And it's, we've been going through a really hard time the last years. And um, so I started writing this for my co workers. And then something funny happened these, these uh, workers went on strike at Hunts Point in the Bronx. Did you know about that? In the spring, and, or in the winter, actually. And it was quite a, quite a thing to do in the middle of the pandemic, quite bold. And I don't know if you know this, but the, the warehouses in Hunts Point is 22 companies in the Bronx. This is like down home in the Bronx. And there's these huge warehouses that stock 50% of the fruits and vegetables in, in the New York City. Yeah. And you know, you don't realize like essential, you know. So, um, and, but of course the bosses are cutting their wages and health benefits right in the middle of the pandemic. So it was quite a brave thing for them to do to go out on strike and they eked out a little bit of something from the bosses. They said they won and in a way they did win, but hopefully one day we will actually win and we'll have a world that we can run in our own interest. So this song's called The Mighty because I realize that it's not just my coworkers, but it's all of us. We're, we're all part of the working class and we all are mighty. We take a little clue from those guys at Hunts Point. So uh, there is some singing you could do to this. Um, I would love that. It's the, the chorus is, um, we are the first and we are the last. We are the mighty working class. Feels good to sing that. And uh, sometimes, most of the time we don't feel so mighty. And uh, the other part at the end, if you want to kick it out at the end, it's um, uh, black, brown, and tan, woman, trans, and man, young and old, everyone who can. I hope you sing it with me. Let's see here make this one work. Are we supposed to remember all <laughs> Oh, you don't have to remember, you just have to sing it. <laughs> Do you remember that all our adventures over the years over the centuries and I mention it because now in terms of survival we need to rise from the dead again. We need a revival. We are the first and we are the last. We are the mighty working class. When you feel the most like hiding, I wish you take a look inside yourself and see. You have a history. We have our ancestors who made sacrifices on altars of misery So we can stand here today, feel this song And swing to this beat, our music so sweet Sing along oh, We are the first and we are the last We are the mighty working class Sounds good And when you feel the most like Heidi I wish you'd know how good it feels to be fighting for what workers need we should have no illusions that the people in power will accept revolution, but that is what we need. And the world's on our shoulders, and in turn we are learning from the giants who came before us. Well, we are the first, and we are the last, we are the mighty working class. When you feel the most like hiding, I wish you'd know how much is riding on what we all do. 
what each of us do. We are the workers, we stand united, no more hiding, here it comes. The West singing black, brown and tan, woman, trans and man, young and old. We're going to do it again. Everyone who can. West singing black, brown and tan, that's it. Woman, trans and man, young stuff outside, but thank you guys for doing this people's voice. I think when the histories are written, uh, it's not going to be the CEOs. It's not going to even be the politicians or the political leaders of any sort or the diplomats. It's going to be the people who delivered the food and who taught the children and who took care of the sick who are going to be remembered, the people who nurtured us, the people who protected us, the people who educated us. So for the teachers like Fred and all the others, let's give it up again. There's a man by my side walking. There's a voice within me talking. There's a word that needs a saying. Carry it on, carry it on, on, on. carry it on, carry it on. They will tell their lying story. Send their dogs to bite our bodies. They will lock us in their prison.